W2A So we lost Jordan Poole last year for an 88 year old Chris Paul just to waive Chris Paul the next season after losing in the playing game So we lost Jordan Poole for effectively nothing and then we waved Chris Paul, so we waved, we lost him for effectively nothing. And then Clay Thompson walks, and we get two second round pick. We signed DeAnthony Melton, and today we sign Slow Mo. If I was in San Francisco right now, I would have walked to the to the San Francisco Bay Bridge, and I would have jumped off. I'm not even playing. Our GM has to be trying to piss us off or he's trolling like you'd have to be you'd have to try to be this bad at your job or somebody in the warriors organization he has a gripe against and he's trying to like get on their bad side if this is our roster heading into next year our starters are curry melton wiggins draymond trace jackson davis and then our backups our benches pajemski gary payton the second moses moody jonathan kamiga and dario sarge and then the third stringers are quinones anderson and looney that is about the 13th best team in the western conference at most king of the fourth quarter if I hired him, if I hired him as the Warriors GM, he would be doing better than this right now. Somebody needs to step in. We can't, no, 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 no. We can't, it's, I, bro, I'd rather have Joe Biden running this team, bro. I'm not even playing. America is a nation that can be defined in a single word. I was gonna put him, uh, foot, foot. And it's like, with this roster, some of our best players are the rookie players. And our head coach is Steve Kerr, who would rather jump into an active volcano than play rookies or young guys. And not even that we signed him. We signed him to a three-year, $27 million deal. He's making $9 million a year. That would make him the fourth highest paid player on the team. And he's probably not even going to play. Unless you're trying to tell me you're going to put 6-9 Kyle Anderson at shooting guard and even then i would still rather you play gary payton the second this is like the third worst player on our team and he's the fourth highest paid there's no way this isn't a part of a bigger deal this has to be part of the laurie markinen deal and i swear to god if i see jonathan kaminga in that deal i'm gonna oh my god oh my god oh my god oh my god oh my god, oh my god. it better be wiggins please god let it be wiggins I pray that it's Wigan. Kuminga's ceiling is higher than Markinen's. I don't care what you say. Is this nigga serious? But I feel like Utah wouldn't agree to it unless they got Kuminga. So, honestly, and honestly, I'd rather keep Kuminga than have Laurie Markinen. Oh my God, we lost Clay Thompson, Chris Paul, and I'm still counting Jordan Poole last year for Kyle Anderson and D'Anthony Melton. What is this? What is this? 2022? Are we the 2022 Memphis Grizzlies? Are we? What's the next signing? Dylan Brooks? This better be part of a deal to get Markinen or bring in Jordan Poole back. <laughs> you serious? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what we do at this point. We're not winning a championship. We're not. We're not good enough. We're not good enough. We're not good enough. At the end of the day, it doesn't matter because we're top 11 in the West max. So we might not even be good enough to make it. We're not good enough to even make it to the playing uh, tournament. So, um... I'm a Mavs fan this season. Go Dallas. Go Dallas.